not every day I will come out and be giving you advice. It's not every day I will come out and be giving an elderly man, an elderly woman like you advice. It is time for you to start advising yourself. Why you people carry torch on the head like a pure water is what I am not able to fathom. I can't be able to comprehend this. Why do you people see that this, this road you are going, it can lead you home. This road you are about to enter, no way there. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. But ndi wo yene iti na hisi. Kedi he di church munu. Kedi he di kuka munu. Even when that place you are going to, it's not in your favor. Far from Ogunanya. How else do you want us to continue explaining this to you? Kedi he di church mendi bo. Anywhere you see church as an evil man. If you baga kamu ebone. In our Swiss city, can we open it? You don't ask question. Anywhere Igbo man is in church, Igbo man will enter. Even when the atmosphere did not welcome you. Welcome and thank you for joining me today. One bigot has been awarded with the role of a pastor in Redeemed Church after insulting Ndibu. After denigrating Ndibu, they award him with the role of a pastor. In redeemed Christian Church of God, slander the evils and win a award. Insult the evils and collect your trophy. Once you insult the evils, slander the evils, denigrate the evils, you have automatic ticket of becoming the pastor of redeemed Christian Church of God. I read his tweet for you. This is what the shameless bigot that called himself a redeemed church pastor now said about the evils. His tweet. These are not Nigerians, but people from a destructive region in Nigeria that called themselves Biafrans. They are so despicable, they cost Nigeria her only civil war, and after their loss in the war, they are everywhere looking for opportunities to destroy Nigeria. Let's go to his next tweet. The bigots, the redeemed church bigots, the pastor in redeemed church, church, he's a pastor now. In redeemed church bible church of god whatever they call it this is another tweet of him not southern nigerians southeasterners it's evil people that are behind every negative thing nigeria has or every negative thing that is happening in nigeria that is what the shameless pastor of redeemed christian church of god is trying to tell you people again his tweets yes they are evil people you need to see how they treat their fellow Nigerians as enemies. Despicable lots. I am telling you the, the tweet a pastor in Redeemed Church is tweeting publicly. After he finished vomiting the hate he has for the evils, they crown him pastor. Now this is what he has to say. My attention has been brought to some tweets I have made in time past that you are highly critical, stereotypical, prejudicial, malignant and disparaging to the evil people of Nigeria as an ethnic group. I take full responsibility and tender an unreserved apology for my utterances. After deep cogitation and contemplation, I have discovered that there are only two types of people, the good ones and the bad ones, and they are not endemic only to an ethnic group, race, gender, or nationality. We live and learn to improve with an open mind our perception of life and others. That is what the pastor tweeted. And we say no to your apology. No to the bigot apology. A bigot will always be a bigot. We say no. Why is he apologizing? Because he wants tight an offering. And sowing of seed of the evils in Redeemed Church. The highest people, the highest sea sowers, the highest sea sowers, sea sowers, and the titans, and people that pay offering in Nigeria are the evils. It's evil people that fool redeemed church. Still, evil, still the redeemed church pushing this bigots, bigotry, tribalism inside church. Tribalism have found his full self. Tribalism and nepotism and bigotry has been awarded inside the church. They don't recognize tribe inside church. They have recognized and given tribe and bigotry a very big chair and a role in the church. And unfortunately, it's happening in Redeem. 70% of the people that sow seed in Redeem Church are the Igbos. 
Is it not Igbo people that are majority of the Christians we have in Nigeria? Can you say that Yoruba people are the ones sowing seed in, in redeem? Half of Yoruba, if you divide Yoruba into four, three is Muslim, one is Christian. Divide Igbo into four, three and a half, in fact, 98%, 99% of Igbos are Christians. Only 1% you will find Muslim. Only one escape God will you find a Muslim in Igbo. That is to say that everybody, almost all the Igbos are Christians. And it is still Igbo people paying tithe and offering in the church. After insulting Igbo, after insulting Igbo, Igbo my, my tribe, you will now come and be asking me to pay you tithe and offering that you will use to buy Jeep. Tight and offering you used to uh, feed your children. Why is this bigot that called himself a pastor? Why is he apologizing? Because of your tight and offering. No this and no peace for the rest of your life. Nobody love you. Nobody love you. Almost all the people you and I know that are full of corruption, bribe, and some shady acts, shady lifestyle, all of them are redeemed church pastors or members. Let us start with Dio Israel. This one is number one. This one have the horn of bigotry. Obionisi. He is a pastor in redeem. This is him preaching on Sunday. People that have shady character, shady lifestyle. I ask a question. Why is it that many of them, and they are in APC. Now I will now agree that APC, Redeem Church is a branch of APC. I will have to agree. I have no other choice other than to agree. Look at Dio preaching in the church. Look at him. He's a pastor. And it is one thing to be in company. Bible says that Saul was in the company of the prophet and he began to prophesy. So when you are in the company of greatness, greatness automatically runs off on you. But when you have no idea that you are working with greatness, you start to disrespect the greatness. And so, the thing that they could benefit from Jesus, they could not because they had no idea who they were working with. All these things you see that your Israel are doing in the name of preaching. All these things you see him doing. Is your money he is looking for? Nobody loves you. They don't love you. Is your money he is looking for? See who call himself a pastor, a redeemed church pastor. This bigot, he said he's a pastor. So, redeemed church wants to make us to believe that, that their church is all about is a tribalistic church full of tribe anti evil that is what redeemed church have positioned themselves to be anti evil believe it or not redeemed church is a pure anti evil anti anything why is it that they support apc anything good and i ask redeemed church members do you people buy your own bread cheap do you buy your own egg cheap a crate of egg is now six thousand naira. do you people buy it cheap all your pastors People that lead you, almost all of them are APC, supporting APC. Let me show you another APC pastor. This one is Lawrence Bayode. He is the one in charge of that INEC, INEC ICT, that fraud that happened in 2023 election. Once you hear technical glitch, this is the man you are supposed to be talking about. He is in charge of ICT. He is a pastor in Redeem. They have been asking this man, how did you arrive at Tinubu win election? They cannot answer. Pastor in Redeem. Is this not Pastor Adeboye with Tinibu and Fashola on the same table? I don't want to go there. Before I start hearing touch not my anointed and do thy prophet no harm, I will not touch anointed. Neither will I do any prophet any harm. I will not touch your anointed. Neither will I do your prophet any harm. I am only stating facts. What am I stating? Why is it that all the people, all the people that have bad character, tribalistic, the people that wear bigotry like Abada, people that are bigots, that carry tribalism, tribalism on their head. Why is it that they have somehow, they are related with APC? Why? What is so special about APC that they now have to have, they are now intertwined. APC and Redeem Church are intertwined. All the people in APC, you will find them inside Redeem Church. Die your Israel. Redeem is APC. Wife of Tinibu, APC. Redeem church pastor. This one that call himself Dio Florence, APC. Redeem church pastor. Why are these people, why do they have affiliation with APC? Why will Redeem church 
have something to do with a party that destroyed Nigeria for nine years. A party that took Nigeria from 100 to zero. You are hungry today because of APC. Nigeria is stagnant today because of APC. That you people are complaining. Food no day. Water no day. Electricity no day. Our road no good. Nothing is good. Hospital no good. It's because of APC. The moment they took over in 2015. Nigeria don't scatter before. But they now finish Nigeria. They finish whatever is remaining of Nigeria. It's because of APC. Now when you enter Redeemed Church. You will see people that destroyed Nigeria. You will see them sitting pretty. Inside Redeem. The people that destroyed Nigeria are sitting pretty in APC. And I ask. Does it mean that APC. Redeemed Church. Like. The destruction. I thought they said I am happy when they say let us go to the house of the Lord. Even if tribalism and all this religious sentiment is happening outside. When you enter the church you will feel love. You will see serenity. You will know that you are in the house of God. Why are they doing Iheburu? Secret, secret. You don't like me as Igbo but you like my money as tight and offering. Nala. Nala you lie. You do not like me. You are indirectly supporting a government that destroyed Nigeria. Ta Nigeria, mia Nigeria, You indirectly support that evil government. They called APC. Now you indirectly, indirectly now, now, now indirectly bring them. You don't like, you like them and you support them. But when it comes to paying tithe and offering, you will remember that we are children of God. When you remember, when you want to sow seed, Put the tight inside inside the uh, inside the offering of, uh, offering box. You will remember that we are children of God. When I tell you that it is time for us to choose a competent leader, so that I will have enough money. When it comes to paying tight and offering, it will be very easy for me to pay tight and offering. You will go at the back, have a secret meeting, and bring in competence as as government. After which, you will now want equal money. When I see equal people going to redeem, I do not want to sound the way I'm sounding. Honestly, I don't want to sound the way I'm sounding, but you see this redeemed church have left me with no other option or choice other than to sound this way. When I see evil people that go to redeemed church, I ask, does it mean they don't have sense of reasoning? You don't see what other people are saying. Don't come here and defend rubbish. Do not come here and defend rubbish because you don't know God more than me. You don't go to church more than me. Because what is happening at your back is what you don't know. Erigunu, and our church, Gejirunu. Every good nature to church where you know 99.9% .9 of the people that go to church in Nigeria are evils, but a woman cannot be president of Nigeria. You go at the back and you support incompetent people that are not supposed to be around the corridors of power after supporting them. These people will go at the back and support an evil government and now come and be telling you, Jesus said it's well. Jesus said your problem is finished. How can your problem finish when you have an incompetent government? When you have an incompetent president, how can your problem finish? It's in the church. Inside the church, I ask indeed. Kedi the church moon. Kedi the church women do. Even if you people see that something is going wrong, you see the way an ano pass you know. The tribalism is not far fetched. They are not hiding it from you. They are pushing it in your face. They are showing it to you. But you say, "Oh, we love God." Let's just go to the church now. Everything is not about tribe. Continue deceiving yourself. You don't know that it is bad government that is making you not to be having the type of government, effective and efficient government that will drive a good and a progressive economy to a very, very good destination. You don't know that it's the government that causes all these things. You think it's all this hallelujah, you people shout inside the church. You think it's all this lie they are selling to you in the church. All these things they tell you. They go and sit down with your politicians. Sit down with them. And they will come and be telling you, don't worry, it is well. If it is well, why do they need your Titan offering to buy private jets? If all is well, why must you sow seed before they buy Rolls Royce Phantom? Poor man. Poor man, you gather and you pay Titan offering. Evil man, I'm concentrated on evil man. Look at them. See him, he have insulted evil man, finish. After that, he will carry a very big Bible. He will carry a very large Bible and sit down. He called you people names. He called you enemies of Nigeria. That is what this, this bigot new pastor of Redeemed Church called Ndibo. 
after calling you that name, after insulting you, he will carry big Bible and be preaching the word of God to you and tell you God is good all the time and be pre they don't love you. I will tell you over and over again. It's all about tribe for them. It's all about tribe for them. Continue wasting your money in the name of your paying tithe and offering. You are giving God. God is not the eat yam, you know the eat gary. Any money you are giving to any pastor today is him and his family you are giving to. If you don't walk, you will be poor. If you don't walk, you will continue suffering and begging for food. And if you don't have a good government, pray from now to 300 years time, your pastor will continue to be better than you. I say this, and I'll say it over and over again. It is very clear. The deaf, the dumb, even the blind can see it. That APC is redeemed. Redeemed church have formed a group and a love with APC. And we all know about this. And I ask, why do you need the title and offering of an Igbo man when you don't like Igbo man? Why do you want me to come to your church when you don't like me?